Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to assign reduced beam sections in RAM frame in preparation for designing a special steel moment frame according to the seismic provisions as specified in the AISC 341 and the AISC 358. Before we begin, let's review the sample model in the RAM frame analysis mode. The vertical lateral force resisting system for this building contains steel moment frames along the global X axis for the third floor and roof levels. For this building, we will eventually design the steel moment frames as special moment resisting frames according to the requirements of the AISC 341 seismic provisions. Also, in accordance with the AISC 358, a reduced beam section is a pre-qualified connection for special and intermediate steel moment frames for the seismic provisions. Now the first step in the workflow for assigning reduced beam sections in the RAM frame analysis mode is to review and modify the reduced beam section properties that are available in the criteria menu. To access that criteria, go to the main menu, select criteria, followed by reduced beam section. The reduced beam section criteria will allow you to specify the flange cut dimensions that will be used for any frame beams that are assigned a reduced beam section. Within this criteria, you can specify the multipliers that will automatically calculate the actual cut dimensions based on the widths and depths of the frame beams that the reduced beam sections are assigned to. For this video, we are specifying the reduced beam criteria in accordance with the AISC 358 section 5.8, which provides trial values for the reduced beam dimensions A, B, and C. After you are done reviewing the reduced beam section properties, go ahead and click OK. Now after the reduced beam criteria is complete, you are ready to move on to the next step in your workflow, which is assigning the reduced beam sections through the assign frame beam connection type command. This command can be found in the assign menu. Go to the main menu, select Assign, followed by Beams and Frame Beam Connection Types. In RAM Frame, we do have a variety of different connection types that can be utilized for the seismic provisions. In this particular video, we are focusing on Reduced Beam Section Properties. To assign a Reduced Beam Section Property, you're going to make sure that you select the Assign Custom Pre-Qualified Connections radio button, and then you can choose which end to assign the reduced beam section properties to. I'm going to go ahead and select both ends. Now when a reduced beam section connection type is applied to a frame beam, you have the option to include or exclude the reduced section properties in the analysis. Including the reduced beam section in the analysis will provide more accurate displacement results, which we will choose for this particular building model. Please note, if you choose to include the gross section properties instead of the reduced section properties in the analysis, the elastic drift values may need to be scaled up in accordance with the requirements of the AISC 358. To start the process for assigning the frame beam connection types, go ahead and use one of the assign options. I'm going to go with the single option, and then you're going to notice my cursor is going to change shape. This will allow me to select any lateral steel frame members in my model. I'm going to go ahead and select all of the steel frame beams in my two moment frames, which will eventually be specified as special steel moment frames.
What you're going to notice is that RAM frame does apply a symbol to the end of each frame member to indicate that this assignment is complete. To see this symbol either larger or smaller, you can use the up or down symbol sizes icon to see it more clearly. After the reduced beam sections are assigned, you are then ready to perform the lateral analysis in the RAM frame analysis mode. It's important to note that when a reduced beam section connection type is included in the analysis, RAM frame will create four additional finite elements at the end of each beam, one for section A and three for section B, with additional nodes at the end of each finite element. Now the stiffness of each element will be calculated at its mid length. After the lateral analysis is performed to include the reduced beam sections, you're ready to move on to your design phase. The RAM frame steel seismic provisions mode will check all the steel beams that have reduced beam sections to verify that the beam has the capacity to carry the bending moments at the center of the reduced beam section due to all the standard provision load combinations. At this point, this concludes our process for incorporating reduced beam sections in RAM frame in preparation for designing a special steel moment frame according to the seismic provisions as specified in the AISC 341 and AISC 358. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.